Good morning, Butters. Do you want to say anything to your fans? What's up, baby? Come on. You're usually leading the way. Why are you behind me? Hi, sweet girl. Are you sitting for everyone like a good girl? By now, she's usually jumping up on me. Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. How are you guys? I did not do any weight training today. So I have this blemish right here and I keep, I keep like picking at it. I know I shouldn't and now it's like kind of itchy. Anyway, maybe it's a bite. I don't know. So I didn't do any weight training this morning, but I went for a walk. I got out there at 5.30 in the morning because if you don't, you will literally feel like you're being cremated. It is so hot outside. I mean, it's hot everywhere. I think there's uh, like a heat wave, just a heat dome covering the entire earth, but uh, it's excruciatingly hot here and very, very dry, which, you know, there is a benefit to it up until a point and then it's just really hot. <laughs> so today the forecast said it was gonna be 115. It usually gets higher than the, what the forecast is forecasting. And uh, the past few days, it's been like hitting 120, like just crazy numbers. So anyway, I thought, let me get out there, do my walk, which is about four miles before the sun comes up. I basically caught the sunrise. I felt like a vampire. The sun was rising and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> but the sun was rising. It was quite a beautiful sunrise, actually. Yeah, I was probably just at the end of my walk as the sun was really kind of like getting up in the sky. And I was like, Whew. thank goodness, because yeah, it's just brutal out there. I just went to walk butters just for a short walk because it's too hot for her too. And yeah, it's just, it's brutal. Anyway, hi. Could we talk about the weather anymore? My apologies, my apologies. So what am I doing today? I have a nail appointment. I have to get my nails done. Oh my gosh, what time is it? So I had to change my regular nail appointment time, which would have been last week because Jen was here and I didn't wanna take any time away from spending time with her. So I changed my appointment to this week and I'm completely thrown. I don't know when it is. Oh, it's at, oh. It's actually at 11.30. I usually go like later in the afternoon, three, between three and four, whenever uh, my nail tech is available. So 11.30 is early, okay. Oh, that kind of changes my day. So the other thing that I have to do today is I have to clean out that bedroom that I've been using to store all of my handbags because, and this is so exciting, California Closets is coming tomorrow to build out that room. So if you guys missed it, because I did mention this, this isn't brand new information, um, but if you missed it, I am having California Closets build out that bedroom. And you know, we've been in this house now three years. I cannot believe it. I kept telling my husband, no, no we've only been there for two years. He's like, no, it's three years. He's the same, if you didn't know, my husband is the same one in the family. He's like, mm, no, it's been, th it's three years this year. I'm like, no, two years. <laughs> anyway, it's been three years now. Uh, we are just coming up actually on the anniversary of when we moved in here because we moved in here July, 2021, and it was actually the hottest day in that year. I'll never forget this. Those poor moving guys. One guy actually had to leave early because he was feeling very ill. I think he was having like a heat stroke um, or heat exhaustion. I know there's a difference, but I don't know what the difference is. Anyway, we moved on the hottest day. I don't, I don't want to say of the year. It could have been, but the hottest day up until that point. Um, and it was in July, 2021, we moved in here. Thank God the AC was working, but not really. Oh my God, there were so many like little things. Anytime you move into a house, whether it's new, old, secondhand, whatever, there's always these little things that have to happen. So anyway, I remember having to get our HVAC guy out here. And I mean, it was incredible because usually in the summer times it's so busy, but they were able to come out here. So we've been here for three years and I have just, you know, I had visions of making this particular spare bedroom into like an extension of my closet. I'd have, you know, a whole wall of handbags and then I'd, you know, display my perfumes and do this whole thing and then have like a whole island where I would sit and talk to you guys. I had this whole, this whole setup. The more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, 
it's kind of a waste of a room, you know, to make an entire separate bedroom. It's not like this little alcove or like um, a home office that's just like kind of a cutout. This is a bedroom. There's an attached bathroom, everything. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, I just, it just felt like a waste of that space. So what California Closet is doing, which you'll see, I'm going to vlog it tomorrow uh, when they come, but we're getting a, an in wall, what do they call it? I always call them Murphy beds, but I know that's like the brand name. It's like calling tissues Kleenex. Uh, it's like an in wall bed, I believe is what it's called. In dash wall bed. And it just folds up. It looks like a cabinet, but then you just kind of pull it down almost like a like a door, you just kind of pull it down and then you have a bed. So we're doing that. And then we're gonna have some, you know, um, I guess closets basically like kind of double door um, that can open. And there'll be some like hanging ones. I'm gonna have three of them hanging, shelving, that sort of thing. And so I will store, end up storing some of my handbags in there, but it's not gonna be like this whole, um, I think my California Closets rep was referring to it as like a boutique room. So it's not going to be that. It's going to be kind of multi-purpose, which I'm just much more comfortable with. I think having a, an extra spare bed, if we need it, we can always just leave it up. Um, I can put like a little table in the middle there if I do want to use that room to film. The reality too is that room can be very loud and dim. And I'll show that to you guys too when we get up there. But um, anyway, long story short, too late. I need to move everything out of that bedroom so that they can do the build out. So I have, you know, as you guys have seen, all those handbags just sitting on the floor in there. I need to get all of those out of there, basically empty out that room for them. I'm wondering if I need to move the carpet. Yeah, I'll probably just roll it up and put it in the corner. We're only building out basically one corner of the room. Uh, because one wall is like all windows and then the other wall has the door to the bathroom. So there's kind of no reason to build that out. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing today. Emptying out that room to prepare for the build out tomorrow. So those are the two things that I need to do today. Nails, clean out room. <laughs> all right, I'm all showered and here's my going to get my nails done outfit. Shorts so I don't have to like pull up my pants <laughs> when I'm getting a pedicure. And this is all I could muster was a white linen top. This is the one from Cause. I was gonna throw on a t-shirt and the only one that I liked today was a black t-shirt and I was like, absolutely not. So, oh, and I've got my Birkenstocks on because my toes come out of it enough that if they're not completely dry, so I get gel on my hands, but I get like a regular pedicure. So that has to air dry. Now for the biggest decisions of my day, <laughs> just kidding, is um, perfume and sunglasses. Okay, since it is hot as hell outside, I want something really light and refreshing. Light and refreshing. Well, we've got the Chanel Deauville. I love that. Uh, well, most of the Jo Malones are light and refreshing, as is the Maison Francis Kirkchen. That's, uh, that's a little, that's a little more sultry. I just want really light and clean. You know what? Let's do this one from Kirkchen. It is very, very similar to the Aqua Universalis, which I love, this guy. There's a slight difference, which... I'm finding it very hard to articulate what it is. It's like they're, they're both very, very light, but I find this one to be even lighter than the Aqua Universalis. I mean, there's like, the notes are different or whatever, but there's, they really are very, very similar. And I love them both. Like the 724, the newer one is, it's almost like the Aqua Universalis is more unisex. And this one, while it's very unisex for sure, leans maybe a little bit more feminine. Is that what I mean by lighter? Maybe, I'll have to keep thinking about it. Anyway, that's the perfume for the day. All right, I have about 20 minutes before I have to leave for my nail appointment. So I'm gonna make myself a protein shake because this appointment is right at a meal time, at a feeding time. And I don't wanna get too hungry because that's when I make really poor choices. So I'm just gonna make a quick protein shake. So I like this Paleo Pro powder because it uses grass-fed and pasteurized um, ingredients, mainly beef protein 
and collagen and egg white protein. There's no whey or dairy and all that kind of stuff. You can see all that on the label. Anyway, I really like this. I don't have anything against whey protein. I was using that for a long time. I had a big tub, but I just hate, hate the way it smells. It doesn't even taste bad, but there's something about the way whey the way whey smells, it's almost like the way collagen smells. It just smells like, I don't know, like foot, foot cheese, belly button lint. Like it's a really just nasty kind of organic smell that I, I just, I, I can't stand it. So anyway, this does not have that at all. And then I throw in some creatine. So I just blend up the protein powder and the creatine with a little bit of water first, just to kind of dissolve uh, the powder. And then I add in ice and that's it. I don't use any milks or anything. I uh, am trying to stay away from dairy, even though it's very, very difficult. Um, I'm trying to stay away from dairy. And then all of the tastier alternative milks always have those additives, which I'm also trying to stay away from. And there's one almond milk that doesn't have any additives uh, that I have found, and it's called Malk, M-A-L-K. It doesn't have any gums or anything like that. So it's not, it's not quite as delicious as, you know, if you were to get like silk almond milk or something like that. And so I just don't even think it's worth it. So I just use water and ice and it's, it's fine. This uh, protein powder isn't actually very, like overly flavored and sweet. It's actually pretty mild. So I almost feel like I'm drinking like a, almost like a watered down chocolate milk. Does that sound appetizing at all? Not really, right? I think it's so much better, so much better tasting and smelling because it actually doesn't really smell like anything than the whey protein powder that I've been using. I've been using this uh, like Dynamitize. I think that's the name, Dynamitize, like an ISO 200, you know, like one of those powders. It's, ugh, ugh, it's just terrible. It smells terrible. Every time I open up the tub, I don't know if you guys know this about me. You probably do. I would imagine so. But I am a sunglasses fanatic. And in fact, actually, I did talk about this in my what I'm not going to be buying anymore of in 2024. I said that sunglasses should be on my list, but I knew it wasn't going to happen because I just love them too much. So anyway, I love sitting here. <laughs> deciding which sunglasses to wear most well not most of the time some of the time I just end up walking into my car and like whatever's in my car door pocket right there is are the sunglasses that I end up uh, wearing uh, but I have my one of my favorites of course you guys have seen me wear this a lot the Loewe mask sunglasses these are an option <laughs> these sunglasses actually I've not worn in a while so I'm leaning towards these but these are Chanel sunglasses. Can you even see? But it's tweed fabric covered sunglasses. Aren't these so cool? This is the case that they came in, which is, sorry, I'm so backlit here. Hold on, let me move. Is that better? I think that's better. Um, that cabinet right there over this desk is where I keep like most of my sunscreen and most of my sunglasses. So anyway, I was just standing over there and that window was behind me and you couldn't see me. So these are the ones that are covered in tweed fabric. When did I get these? Probably th three, no, nope. I wasn't living here four years ago, but how cool are these? Oh, I was showing you the case. Look at the case that they came in. <laughs> So cool. Anyway, because these are covered in tweed, I don't wear them actually in the summer that much. They just kind of remind me of like winter type of sunglasses, but um, I don't know, maybe I'll wear them today. We'll see. So I've got the same, basically it's the same Celine sunglasses, except they had different sizes. And this pair is a little bit larger than this pair. So this is more of like a tortoise frame. These are like a gray, black frame, which I really enjoy. And this size, I think it just suits me a little bit better. And then these are super old these and super dirty, but I got these when I was still living in New York and they were so funny. I was with my friend Matthew when I got these and he was like, those kind of look like demented Willy Wonka sunglasses. And I was like, I'll take them. So these are Tom Ford 
super round <laughs> sunglasses. Yeah, these are probably, I don't know, 10, 12 years old. That's an option for today. I have so many, I need to, I'm like running out of time just sitting here thinking about sunglasses. Oh, I have these YSL sunglasses that actually appeared in my favorites. I've been wearing those a lot. Maybe give those a break. What are these? Oh, these are my glasses glasses, okay. Oh, I have these that I got in Florence last year. I love these, even though they're so like Jack Nicholson, but I love them. You know what, I'm gonna wear these today. They've got the crystals along the top and then just these like yellow tinted lenses. They're so good, they're so comfortable. I think these are technically men's sunglasses, but I like the uh, width. I have a pretty wide face. So men's sunglasses generally work better for me anyway. If you guys are interested in seeing a sunglasses collection <laughs> video, I'm just thinking of that right now, uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe comment with the sunglasses emoji. Maybe do that and I'll do a sunglasses collection video. I have, I have quite a few. I have quite a few. I've donated some in the past or whatever, but I've held on to quite a few. Well, I just got back from getting my nails done. So I just, I went with Walnut Brown again and I've been procrastinating. <laughs> procrastinating it needs to be done i am down to the wire they are coming first thing tomorrow morning california closets and yeah i just have to i just have to move all this stuff it's not even like i need to do anything beautiful with them i just need to dump them somewhere i think i'm just going to bring them into our bedroom but i did want to show you this room because i was telling you like you know the walls that the um, construction was going to take place or the build out it's not construction and then what we're gonna be leaving bare. So this is what you see when you come into the room. And then here is the bathroom. This is where I keep all of my <laughs> perfumes right now. I need to do something with that. And then here is the room. So we've got an entire wall of window, basically. Uh, those are actually doors, French doors there, and then windows on either side. And then there really isn't much wall left. And then this wall is actually wired up to put some, not some, but a television. And so we are going to be putting the wall bed here and then the closets on this wall. And that's it. Sorry, it's hard to get my uh, camera to uh, focus on blank uh, white walls. <laughs> so I'm sorry, it was like coming in and out. But yeah, let me, <laughs> let me start moving these bags out of this room. The room is cleared out. You could actually hear how echoey it is <laughs> in here now. And I'm actually facing this wall of windows and I always, not windows, this wall of glass. Cause there isn't actually one window in here. It's just a door and two glass panes. Anyway, I always thought this would be great for filming. It's gonna let in all this light. You know, I wouldn't have to like worry about uh, setting up lights or anything like that. But what I didn't realize is because this goes out onto, uh, basically it's like a terrace because there's like a whole um, roof over the outdoor area. It's very shaded. And I don't know if you can tell, probably not. It looks okay right now because it is like at the height of the afternoon, but it's kind of shadowy in here. And I would have to set up lighting if I wanted to film in here regularly. So anyway, that's why I was like, all right, I'm not gonna, you know, try and, use this room as a dedicated filming room or whatever, which was kind of like my thought when we first moved in, this could be uh, the room, you know, let's, let's live in the house for a little while, let's get settled in, let's like figure out the stuff and like, you know, what makes sense. Well, three years later, here we are. <laughs> so the wall behind me is what's gonna have the cabinets and 
Uh, and then the wall over here is gonna have the bed. So, I, oh, there's a dead moth on the floor. I'm gonna have to vacuum in here. It's a little, it's a little dusty. Uh, my cleaning ladies come in here and they kind of like vacuum <laughs> the floor that they could see, but I think because my handbag collection has grown, you guys have uh, seen it grow in before your eyes. It, yeah, it's just been less and less floor for them to just vacuum in. So it's gotten kind of dusty in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually vacuum, vacuum this rug, roll it up, throw it in the corner, the corner that they're not gonna be installing anything in. And that's it. And then we're ready for tomorrow. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited, and I have to get a TV for this wall. I have to get that um, hooked up, and well, not even hooked up. It's so funny. Most of the TVs in our house don't actually have like a cable hookup. We just use the apps, so all it needs is you know the Wi-Fi and the password, and we're all set. So I just need to get a TV for this wall, I should say. Uh, get it wall mounted. Got to call someone for that, and then I think I'm just gonna get. I don't know, a, a dresser or something like that to put underneath uh, the television. But California Closets and I were kind of debating, like, do we put like a built in there, you know, whatever. And she was like, you know, it's just going to be like so much if you have three walls covered in it. She's like, get like a freestanding piece of furniture that has like maybe a little bit more like personality or whatever. And um, I thought that was a good idea. So, yeah. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna settle in with what they install and then find a piece that'll look nice against that wall and then we'll have a nice additional guest room or multi-purpose room. That's it. All right, let me get to vacuuming. All righty. The room is all clear. Vacuumed, clear. Oh, I should probably mop it too. That spot looks dusty, doesn't it? <laughs> um, cart, well, that was the best I could do. It's a little unwieldy. And then my chair. You know, I'm a little bit worried about this. I don't know if I'm gonna have to get this removed because the wall bed is going to come down and it may hit that. So, you know what? We may just have to do it after the fact. I'm really hoping it'll just skim it, but we'll see. All right, well, that was a lot of moving in this very hot weather. I mean, you know, our AC is on and if you're sitting still, it's fine. But once you start moving, it's so weird. It's like you just, you start feeling the heat immediately. Anyway, enough of me bitching. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for California closets to come tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Oh, sorry, the light's behind me. It's been a little bit of a hectic morning because I slept through my alarm. <laughs> it happens. Uh, so I got a late start to my walk and uh, I went to the gym. Thankfully, my husband was here, so he was able to let California closets in. So they're here and it's a whole big operation. So they set up out here. There's the van or the truck, I should say, the van is, but you can see like the butt of the van there. And they're always so good, they lay down these um, drop cloths. And I was very poor at scheduling today, so I have a dentist appointment uh, soon, in about an hour. So I just need to shower and get over there. Uh, and then I'll be back and show you some of the progress they've made. It's, you know, it's not much the, the first few hours because they're just sort of bringing in all the materials and like measuring, kind of like setting up. So um, hopefully by the time I get back from my appointment, they will have had, I don't know, some time to do a little bit of the framing. They mentioned that they'll be here until probably around 4.30 today. And then uh, someone will be back tomorrow to like finish up stuff. That's what they're anticipating, so. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. Hello, I am back from the dentist. I just snarfed, snarfed, is that the right word? No, maybe. I just <laughs> ate <laughs> lunch very quickly. And uh, the California Closets workman is actually on lunch. So I thought I'd go upstairs and take a peek. I didn't really want to vlog while he was here. I, they're usually okay with it, but I didn't want to, I don't want to distract him. So, let's see. I just got a fan going, so it's a little bit loud. I'm gonna speak up. Okay, let me turn you guys around. I think you guys probably remember this view from yesterday when I was showing you how empty it was, but here's all the 
panels and stuff. And, oh, <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's where the bed is gonna be. And sorry, these lights are gonna be flashing because they're LED lights. So that's where the bed is gonna come out. And then I'm gonna have like shelves and drawers there. And then these are the cabinets I was talking about. So we're gonna have three. The center one is gonna be hanging and these two are gonna be shelves. And then there's gonna be drawers or a big drawer at the bottom. I think just one big drawer. So the color of the wood and the like fronts of the doors of the cabinets and stuff are different from our closet. So I can't wait to show you what I picked. The handles are different as well. It was like such a wasted space, <laughs> such a wasted space for so long. We didn't really need it, obviously. It's not like we have a big family or anything, but it's just gonna be so nice to have a functional room, a functional room. And that's, you know, when I was debating about whether or not, you know, we should do this now, you know, the cost and all that. My husband was like, he's like, it's gonna turn this room from non-functional <laughs> to functional. I'm like, you're right. So we went for it. So it was time, it was time anyway. Like I keep saying, I cannot believe we've been here for three years, it's, wow, wow, does time, does time fly? All right, well, I would flash you my teeth, but I think I have like lunch in them. But here are my newly cleaned teeth, yay. Um, have I ever told you guys how much I hate the dentist? It is my least favorite thing to do in the entire world. I would rather get a pap smear I'd rather get a physical, I'd rather get blood drawn, I would rather get a tetanus shot. I mean, so many things, so many things I would rather do, they get my teeth cleaned or go to the dentist for any reason. And every dentist I've had has always been really nice. It's not like I've ever had any like horror moments at the dentist. It's just, it's like the sound and like they're in your, they're literally in your head it's so uncomfortable, but anyway, it was uh, quick, quick and dirty, just in and out cleaning. So I'm glad that's over, but I will be back to show you guys um, when they're done today. I think it's gonna look a lot different by the end of today. All right, I am going back up the stairs. The workmen just left. They do have to come back tomorrow, so they're not done, but let's see what progress they made. Okay, we're out in the hallway. This is the mattress that's gonna go in the pull-out bed. And those are shelves actually that are gonna end up in the primary closet because well, I think I told you guys the plan. In one of the cabinets with doors, I'm gonna put those shelves in there and put my handbags or my most used handbags in there. Look, oh my gosh. Okay, so they have the drawers left. So there's gonna be a big drawer at the bottom of each of the cabinets, and then drawers, two drawers down there, two drawers down there. And just got some open shelving for decor. And then that is the pull-out bed, and this is a desk, and then a shelf. So I can use this, or anyone can use this as like a little work area when the bed is, is up. So there's gonna be like handles here, 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 here. So they're gonna be paired off. And let me step back. So I decided on three cabinets. Originally, we had four cabinets. And when I looked at it on the rendering, it just looked like, <laughs> they looked like lockers. And I knew, you know, the handles, like pairing them off would make it look a little bit better, but I was like, let's just make them a little bit bigger so there aren't, there aren't as many. So I think this looks better. They look more like armoires versus, <laughs> versus lockers. And I was worried about this light fixture hanging too low, uh, but it does not interfere with the bed coming down. So that's good. I don't have to move this or get a new one. I don't actually particularly like this light fixture, I was gonna use it as an excuse to get a new one, but it's fine. I don't need to make that many changes all at once. I have you sitting on the desk. This desk is actually deeper than I thought. That's good, I thought it was gonna be like, I don't know, 
kind of like a, a dinky little desk that I couldn't do much at, but it's actually pretty decent, pretty decent size. My laptop will definitely fit up here. Or if I do want to do like a get ready with me, the camera sits there nicely. Oh, this is great. Oh, and if you're wondering why my cheeks are so rosy, it's because I just filmed my Hourglass Unreal Liquid Blushes video, which you will have seen on Friday. I really do like them. Look how beautiful they look in this natural light. And this is the last shade, the craft shade that I put on that it's, I put it way too heavy handed. It's like way too much blush here, but the shade, if you'll just focus on the shade, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. So this is a side that I powder. This is a side without powder. So you can see a little bit of the, my skin, my sweat. I don't know, like the sheen on my skin. Why is my skin so shiny? I think it's just, <laughs> just from sweat. I think it's, uh, it's about 6 p.m. and it's about 115 degrees. So I am uh, just staying inside. My husband was like, do you wanna go to the pool? I'm like, I think it's even too hot to sit in the pool because the, the water in the pool isn't even cool anymore. It's like very warm. So I don't know, <laughs> maybe we may try it. Maybe when the sun goes down. Well, I'll be back tomorrow once they finish up that room. I don't know if I'll have time in this particular vlog to like put everything away the way I want it. Um, but I'll at least be able to show you the final product tomorrow because they will be done tomorrow. I can't wait. Okay, I am going to relax. I've had a busy day of working, getting my teeth cleaned, of, uh, oh, of hanging out with Butters. Hi, baby. Do you wanna say hi? Someone has been so sleepy. I think she's, I mean, she'll be six towards the end of this year. Her birthday's at the end of September. And that's far from old. You know, she's not a senior dog, but she's definitely, she's definitely slowing down a bit. We've been, I, I think partially it's the heat, but you know, we play a few ballies with her outside and she just passes out afterwards. And I noticed her hair is going gray in these spots. Some gray up here, sorry baby. And some gray over here on that side. But yeah, this is getting grayer. Oh. And her brindle is coming out even more. Oh, oh wait, now you can see the gray on that side. Little baby. And underneath her, her lip, it's getting more gray. Oh. Okay guys, they just finished up and I rolled the rug back down so that you could see the finished room. Oh my God. I love it. I am so, so excited. And like my husband said, we now have like an honest to goodness usable room. <laughs> So here are some details. I can't remember the finish names of everything. I'll list it down below in the description box if you're interested in working with California closets. But I do have uh, like a solid, it's kind of like a, a dove gray color for um, basically the framing of this system. And then I have like a linen texture for the doors and the drawer fronts. And then I have these acrylic and brushed gold handles for everything. So I have the same handles on the doors, on the drawers, for the pullout bed, etc. And then I did get lighting um, inside these two shelves. So here's the remote control for the lighting. So it's just strip lighting up and down both sides of the shelves, and then you can dim them. I think that's gonna make the, the screen flash, sorry about that. And then bring them back up or turn them off. So that's the shelving. And then what I also wanted to do, because this pulls down to a bed, which I'll show you in just a second, I wanted, I don't know, kind of like a nightstand situation. So these, shelf bottoms actually pull out so that when you're in bed, you know, you can put like your phone here to use that as an alarm clock or whatever. Um, or I can put even like little lights here for people. I think actually I'm gonna get little like rechargeable lights to put inside the bed. These are just basic 
soft close drawers. And then over here are the three cabinets. So all the way on the left, we've got shelves. So I do envision myself putting some of my handbags in here. And then this will be for guests. This is like a hanging area. And then over here we have more shelves for, I'm imagining, for the guests. And then below each of the cabinets, we have a giant drawer, which I love. I am a big fan of big drawers just to be able to throw stuff in there. I'm imagining sheets like for this room, towels for the bathroom, all that kind of stuff. Okay, and now for the bed, which I think is the most exciting part. Um, so this is an in-wall bed. It does pull down, which I'll demonstrate in just a second. It has a shelf and a desk. These are options. And like I said, I wanted to keep this room multi-purpose. So I wanted to be able to have someone come in here and work if they wanted to, or just not like fill up this room with like a big bed. So I really like the idea of this. So there is a little key lock here and use a key to like lock it. I don't think there's much of a chance that this um, bed will fall down from the wall because it does actually kind of, it has kind of like a soft close situation as well, like the drawers. Um, but they did tell me they're like, just for safety purposes, that's a key lock and you can use a key and lock it. So I will lock it up once I'm done. We have a handle here, which is just like the other handles, it's the acrylic and the brushed gold. So when I am ready to pull this down, I just pull on the handle here and then there's like a pivot point. So it kind of feels like it stops here. And then after that, what you want to do is just pull it and then it's like a soft landing. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> So here's the bed fully open. It does have two straps to kind of keep the mattress in place. I can, like when guests come, I imagine obviously I'll undo the straps, which are actually attached to the bed. I'll just like tuck them underneath um, and make the bed and we can leave it down. Or I can like make the bed and if they wanna flip it up, we can attach these straps and like flip the bed up if they want. And then actually let me show you a close up. So there's the shelf and then there's the desk. So obviously when you pull the bed down, you can't have anything on the shelf or the desk. They both kind of like lay down basically. And then the L shaped like steel fixtures there, those basically act as the legs for the bed. Isn't that neat? So the mattress did come with this. Obviously you can see the California closets. Um, and then it does have like a slat system. So now let me show you how easy it is to close. So basically, I just wanna lift it up. It kind of stops at that pivot point again, and then this is where I just wanna push it all the way closed. And then, I don't know if you heard that click, but there's magnets at the top. So it is magnetized closed as well. So that is the new room. I'm so, so excited. I've already poloed some of my friends. I'm like, look, you have another option because we have our guest room set up. Um, and if I have, I have like one big group of girlfriends that um, they've come to visit I want to say twice and uh, anyway, it'll just be so much easier. I do also expect some family to stay during the holiday season. That is all still being worked out. So I will fill you guys in later on that. Oh, and when I built out my primary closet and I did a whole closet tour or whatever, so many of you asked me how much it cost and it's, you know, I didn't, I didn't mention it in that video because it's such a variable, like you could get cabinets instead of drawers and it would be a completely, probably a much cheaper price. You don't have to get the lights. It would be a much cheaper price. Um, so just to let you know, this particular build out was about $20,000. Most of it was this bed. This bed was probably like nine, $9,000 or whatever. So I actually had to like cut back on some other ideas that I had. Like in my closet, I wanted them to build it up to the ceiling and that really kind of like skyrocketed the price. So for this, we're not built to the ceiling. It's just, I believe like eight feet high and my ceilings are um, like 10 feet high. So that's where I was able to kind of recover the cost of the bed. Um, but I also wanted this uh, cabinet finish, which was 
more expensive than if you were to say just get white. That's probably the least expensive. Um, and then these handles are a premium. You could get like cheaper handles. And then again, the lighting and all that kind of stuff. So there's so many variables. You can play around with so many different options. And California Closets is not inexpensive. It is sort of an expensive option, but I really like just, they come in, they just do it all. <laughs> They just do it all and I don't have to worry about it. So anyway, I just wanted to share that information because I know you guys were really curious when we built out the closet. Oh, and before I leave you, I wanna show you what I did, the little change that I made to the primary closet. Okay guys, so we're inside my closet here. This probably all looks very familiar to you. And I'm just walking, <laughs> I'm backing towards the back of the closet. And I had, let me set you down. I had this cabinet in the back and I wasn't exactly sure what I, or this is how I envisioned I was going to use it. I had a hanging pole and I thought, oh, I'll just put like all of my uh, winter coats and like uh, dresses that I don't, I don't wear often, like my more uh, formal wear or whatever. But what ended up happening was, this ended up being basically like a junk drawer for the closet. I had like garment bags thrown in there. I had a piece of luggage. I had all these like random hangers and stuff. And I was like, I'm just, I'm not using this the way I thought I would. So I had California closets um, build out these four shelves. I need to rearrange them. I had them leave the hanging pole up top here because I have, as we all do, I have a bunch of bags that don't stand up properly. Like they're not gonna be able to just like stand up on their own. And so I thought, Again, we'll see, we'll see how I end up using this. I could hang them off of hangers and then actually hang them off of that rod. I'm gonna have to lower the shelf if I wanna do that. But I thought, let's just leave the shelf. It's actually very easy to take off. You just pop the uh, rod up and then you can just take those two stabilizers off very easily. But this is where I'm gonna be storing the handbags that I use the most often. So they're gonna be right here in my closet and then any of the overhang is going to be in that new guest room. So this is actually in direct relation to the 10 goals that I set for 2024. I wanted to really start to make some strides in like in finishing up some of these rooms because that room was unfinished. My living room, the room with the fireplace in it, I got, you know, the couch and the two swivel chairs and that's it. There's still no like proper lighting. There's no coffee table. There are no side tables. It's just, I'm like, I, I need to finish that room. I think that's gonna be next. And then we have my office, which still has like the weirdest hodgepodge of furniture from Ikea and CB2. So I need to figure out that room as well. I think those are my next two projects. My office, I think is gonna be a much larger project, which I'll save for a different conversation. Uh, but the living room, I just need to, I just need to spruce it up. I just need to like finish getting the furniture or whatever. I just, I don't know, I end up having like decision fatigue or I have like analysis paralysis where I'm like, oh, maybe I'll get this, maybe I'll get round, maybe I'll get rectangle, maybe I'll get black, maybe I'll get gold. It's like, you know, so many options, so many options. So anyway, that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Bye.